Hey everybody, Charlie Epstein here with the 401k coach and wow, I just got off our authority marketing authors monthly call and this is what I learned from my advisors today. This is unbelievable. We got into an amazing discussion about how do you build your list? You know, not just any list. Look, the old fashioned way in the 401k business is, you know, the Larkspur list, the Judy Diamond list, the Infinata list, the Arissa list. Everybody's doing that. And so what I first shared with my author advisors today is I reminded them that they're holding a royal flush in their hand. Being an author, having that authority, that expertise, that celebrity status, that's, that's like having a royal flush every time you go out on a meeting as opposed to advisors that are trying to pull a two pair, one of a kind. But when you're an author, you're, you're, you're holding the best cards. You've got that much power. So in terms of list building, my authors were talking about how they're reaching out to benefit brokers, PNC firms, healthcare firms, associations. But one great idea came from John Pennington, which is hunting PEOs. And John has walked into a situation where he has a PEO that had a 401k plan. And the way he found this was he was working with a brand new client who said, Mo, my 401k plan is all taken care of. It's with a PEO. And he said, well, who's the PEO? Who owns the PEO? Would you mind if I call them up? And John reached out to them, sent him a copy of his book. The owner of the PEO took the call. And John sat down and started asking questions. You know, where's your investment policy statement? Where's your investment due diligence reviews for the 401k? Where's your minutes for the plan? And the head of the PEO said, we don't have any of that. Why? Because the PO is focused on all the other benefits, the healthcare benefits, uh, the PNC benefits, maybe the workers' comp benefits, and 401k is just an add-on. Well, John ended up winning, becoming the advisor of record on that plan. And now he's traveling up and down the country just taking on that business, holding that royal flush, going in and meeting with the PEO's members and signing them up and adding other benefits. So that was really incredible. Um, the other thing that we talked about, super idea, is in your area, you've got a business journal. Every community has a business journal. And you know the subscription could be 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 people are subscribing to that journal. That's a list. How do you tap into that list? So uh, one of our authors, Mark Zimmerman, said, look, go to the uh, editor of that company, the business journal, and say, I'm going to commit to a two-year contract of advertising. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can advertise that. And then say, but what I want is that list. And what I'd like to do is give you my book. And you can send my book to all 30, 40, 50,000 of your subscribers as a gift. So you're giving a gift of your book to the journal to send to all their members. That's value add. And in turn, you're getting the list. It's also a silent endorsement of the journal because they're sending out the book on your behalf. Super idea. Now, what do you advertise? You got to tell stories. So you can take the content in your book and say to the editor of the paper, I want to take out a half page or a full page ad, make it the inside back page, not the outside back page, the inside back page. And I'm going to give value to your readers. And you just break up the content of your book and tell that content in small snippets in that section, in that article that you're going to write. So you're giving valuable content, you're promoting your book, you're getting the book in those people's hands, and then you have the ability to follow up and call. So those are two superb ideas that I learned today from my authors. I'm Charlie Epstein. I'm the 401k coach. I'm holding a royal flush. What cards do you have?